hi guys and welcome back to my channel oh boy it's time uh you've probably seen in my other videos or on instagram where i've been talking about the philly punk rock flea market and uh at the time of recording this it has already happened but i needed to record an intro for this video so i'm just being transparent with y'all uh this video is me preparing for that and I just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about, um, you know, why I decided to sell in person for the first time, why the Philly Punk Rock Flea Market, uh, you know, and just kind of like how I'm feeling about it and how I felt prior to it. So in a, in a future video, the video right after this one, I'm going to do a wrap up. I'm going to tell you guys how it went. Um, you know, did I make a profit? Did I feel that it was a success? Uh, would I do it again? That kind of thing. I will have a video and there's clips, you know, there's videos from the actual day. Basically, you know, I've been selling online since November of 2021 exclusively. I did share a booth with a friend at a craft show once, uh, but I don't really count that just because it wasn't like legit. You know, it was her thing and I was just kind of like there. And I did make a few sales, which so, you know, that was kind of encouraging to make a few sales in person uh and i liked you know that interaction with people and so i knew that i needed to get out of my comfort zone and just go do an in-person market by myself uh by myself meaning just as cassie makes art and uh i gotta tell you i was very very apprehensive to do it because in my mind i kept telling myself well, what if I, what if nobody buys anything? What if I go through all of this and I do all this work and I get there and I'm humiliated because nobody cares and nobody buys anything or it's just a giant waste of my time. And I had to just suck it up and just tell myself like, Hey, you've got to try, you know, the worst that can happen, like truly the worst that can happen is you make no sales and you're out of your $100 for the booth fee. Okay. You know, not the end of the world. So I decided to do it and I chose the Philly Punk Rock Flea Market because, uh, well, it just kind of happened. I got an email. Um, it was either an email or I saw an Instagram ad or something uh, for the Philly Punk Rock Flea Market that it was coming up on July 15th. And this was in May when I saw this. And I was like, oh, I think I could do that. It's on a Saturday. I, I think I could do that. And I was like, well, I, I don't know if they'll even accept me. And then I found out that it was just like first come, first serve. Like you get on, you know, when the spots become available and first come, first serve. So uh, I set an alarm on my phone for when they went on sale and I went for it. And uh, I got a spot and I was like, okay, I guess we're doing this. I have no idea what I'm doing. And the amount of prep work that I put in for the next two months, like it was a, it was a lot, it was a lot of hours because this is my first time. So I'm getting all this stuff. Like there's all these things I have to get for the first time. You know, I have to get the tent. I have to get the, uh, all the little display racks, the, you know, I need to figure out the way I want to display my products. I need to, uh, figure out how I'm going to accept payment. Like there's so much that goes into it. Uh, and I just, you know, I'm going to show you a few clips. Um, obviously I didn't record everything and just couldn't record everything. Uh, but there was a lot of prep work that went into it hours and hours and hours. And I kind of questioned myself a little bit before, like, uh, I don't know if I should really be doing this. It might be a waste of time. You know, I try to like talk myself out of it, but I was like, no, we got to go for it. We got to try, you know? And, uh, it took, it took quite a bit of work and, you know, it can, it can be very isolating when you're doing this kind of thing and you're like, it's just you, you know, like when you're a one person, small business, like, and it's just you doing everything. It could be isolating, which I don't normally mind. And I, I really don't mind, but, um, you know, you do need to take breaks and check in with yourself and, uh, make sure that you're not burning yourself out. It was, um. It was a lot of work, but I was starting to feel 
really nervous, like leading up to it, you know, like two weeks beforehand, I was starting to feel really nervous, but also excited. And I'd been watching a lot of like TikTok videos and YouTube videos of people, you know, uh, at the market and like how they display things and they talk about it. And it kind of made me feel a little better just to see other people doing it in real time. And um, yeah, so it was a lot of work, but I felt really good about it. And I felt really proud of my display that I came up with. And I knew that like, okay, it's the first one. I'm going to run into some kinks. Like there's going to be, you know, some hiccups and things that happen where I'm like, oh, next time I got to make sure I fix this or whatever. That's just inevitable. You know, when you're doing something for the first time, I mean, you got to just go into it and just figure it out as you go. And uh, yeah, so uh, leading up to it, I started to get more and more nervous. I didn't sleep for like three days beforehand. I was up really late, you know, finishing up last minute things, signage, things like that. And then, uh, so the market was on Saturday. And so Friday, uh, Friday afternoon, my husband and I headed up to, uh, head to our friend James's house and we stayed with him and he was, uh, gracious and, you know, um, let us, you know, hang with him. I mean, we're best friends. It's not like, you know, but he, um, offered to help at the market and he came and yeah, I couldn't have done it without him. Um, but, uh, yeah, my husband and I loaded up, we loaded up the car. She was full. She was pretty full, uh, which you will see at the end here. Um, but, uh, yeah, the car was filled up and we just, we headed up to Philly, headed to his apartment and the next morning we got up and it was market day. So, uh, yeah, I will, um, I'll definitely, I'll give a little teaser at the end of this video, uh, and then be sure to subscribe. If you want to see how the market actually went, um, I really hope to maybe like ease your mind. If you're someone who's thinking about going to a market, you know, selling for the first time or vending, uh, it's really not as bad as you think it's going to be. Of course, you always worry, you know, there's all these things that could go wrong and all the things that I thought could go wrong. None of it happened. And, uh, yeah, so I will. I won't say too much more because I want to get into it in the next video, but uh, thank you guys for being here. Be sure to subscribe if you liked it. Give it a thumbs up. All that stuff really means a lot. It really helps out the channel. And uh, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. All my socials, my website, all that stuff's in the description box as usual. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye!